Appalachian Power currently working on one of the biggest upgrades in decades. The crews are working on the $235 million substation project in Cloverdale and a $20 million project that includes replacing conductors, transformers, and vaults in Roanoke and Lynchburg. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live from Withville Community College where a new power line program is giving people the education they need to fill open positions. Yeah, that's right. Some of those jobs you mentioned are just a few of the ones that are taking place all across the region. And with that increased work, they need more power line workers, which is why classes like this are so important. So joining me now to talk a little bit about this brand new course is Michael Morris, and you're the instructor here. So talk about the need for some of these jobs. Yes, uh, they're going to be about 50 percent of the workforce retiring in, in the next five years. And we saw the demand and we won't be we won't men to be able to take care of their families. Mm -hmm. They have a good career and just to be able to feel good about about yourself and being able to take care of things. Yeah, definitely. And it's dark out here, so it might be hard for you guys to see, but there are actually some workers up on the poles up here right now. Tell us a little bit about the kind of things that they're learning and what being out in the dark like this helps to teach them as well. Well, many times you'll get called out in the middle of the night. You'll get um, You'll get caught in on storm no matter what time you're on call, like 24-7. Uh -huh. So this is just an experience for them to get out, to get used to being caught out in the middle of the night, working in the dark. You know, so this is all part of the training. It, everything does not happen when, when everything is good outside. Right. And uh, so we're just trying to get them the training that they need to just work, uh -huh. be comfortable on the pole, and... Uh, be ready to to be called out whenever. Yeah, very cool. Well, this is a class that actually started earlier this month as well. So you guys have only been doing this for just a few weeks, really. Yeah. Talk about how it's been going. It's been going good. You know, we started out with just learning the basics of putting on your gear. Mm -hmm. And now you can see that they've, they've already built a single phase line. Wow. And they're working on building a three phase line. That way they can get experience on both types of structures because uh -huh. you'll have single phase you've got three phase and so now uh here in the next little bit we'll be pulling in wire and tying that in we'll also be working on uh pole top rescue mm -hmm. and so there's so many things that they've already came so far uh some of them had a hard time getting to the top you know, they had uh, to get out of their heads of fear and stuff. Right. So they're doing really, really good. That's awesome. Well, we will be checking back in with you guys throughout the morning. We'll have more from some of these students as well and how you can get involved in this class if you're interested in joining as well. Live in with County, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Students at Whitfield Community College are taking their learning to new heights as the Powerline program prepares them to take on jobs with local power companies. Appalachian Power is in the early stages of a major upgrade across southwest Virginia. It will take years to finish up and includes work in Roanoke, Lynchburg, Botetourt, and the New River Valley. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning from Withville Community College. So Aaron, you had a chance to speak with Appalachian Power. What'd they tell you? Yeah, well, they say over the next few years, many of the workers there and at other power companies all across the region are getting closer to retirement age. So they're looking for new workers to come in and a program like this, the Powerline program here at Withville Community College, the perfect chance to get the training that you need to get involved to apply for those jobs. Now, joining us now is one of the students. This is Ryan Thompson. So talk about how you got involved with this. Uh, I got laid off from a job and I had actually just called Withville and talked to uh a lady up here and she said uh go ahead and get your stuff in you'll be in early so I, I got all that done got in early and was ready to go yeah and so talk about what it's like i mean you guys have only been doing this for a few weeks what was it like the first time you climbed up the pole was it nerve-wracking exciting a little of everything it was a little bit of everything uh, but like i told them it seemed the higher you went the better it got so yeah and so for this you guys have already had some recruiters coming in looking at you guys too what's it like to be in a position in a class where you're having people come and look for you come and ask you to work for them well it's nice that you actually got people wanting you to work for them and not having to search for a job you got people that want to come to you and say hey we want you you know and uh, you ain't out struggling trying yeah. to figure out where you're gonna go or how you're gonna make a living but you got 
programs like this that can place you in a good job after you get out of college. So. Right, and one of the things we were talking about is, I mean, this is hard work. You guys are climbing these poles really all on your own. You said you've lost some weight. Everyone's gotten in better shape over the past just couple of weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. I've went down the belt size, so That's it's, awesome. it's a good program to get you in shape, especially with Mike. Uh-huh. So yeah, he's it, been it, working you guys hard. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much and good luck to you. Jenna and Patrick, we'll have more on this program, the students they're looking for, who can get involved, and what you need to know if you want to get involved coming up in the next half hour. Live in with County, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Latch and Power currently working on one of the biggest upgrades in decades. The crews are working on the $235 million substation project in Cloverdale and a $20 million project that includes replacing conductors, transformers, and vaults in Roanoke and Lynchburg. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live from Withville Community College where a new power line program is giving people the education they need to fill open positions. Yeah, that's right. With all of those projects, like you mentioned, and even more taking place across the state, down in North Carolina as well, positions like this are needed. They're very important. So joining us now to talk a little bit about this new program is Perry Hughes with Withville Community College. So this has only been in place for a few weeks since the beginning of May. How did it all get started? We actually started talking about this almost a year and a half ago, and um, we looked for needs in business and industry and had a lot of friends in the power industry and knew that uh, they were having a need fulfilling that skilled workforce. So mm -hmm. we reached out to our sister college down in Southside and partnered with them who uh, they already had a program in place, so we were able to tap into their curriculum and start our program. That is awesome. So now this one's already underway, but for people who want to sign up, the next one begins in September, right? What do they need to know? Well, our next class begins September 11th. Uh, they need to contact Lisa Lowe here at the Whitfield campus. Her phone number is 276-223-4867, or they can visit the Whitfield Community College webpage, wcc.vccs.edu. And talk about the students, too. I mean, this class is open to everyone. You guys see me. Men, women, all ages, right? That's correct. Uh, our population right now is from uh, around 20 to 50, uh, but you know they just have to have um, a strong work ethic and uh, the ability to do physical work because this is a physical career. Definitely. Thank you so much, and we will have more on this coming up in the next half hour. We'll speak to another student here in the program, Jenna and Patrick. Very exciting this morning, getting to see them out here working. And let me tell you, it has been some very hard work we've been seeing throughout the morning. Live in with County, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. Yeah, that's right. With all of those projects that are underway with Appalachian Power, other power companies across the region, jobs like this are so important right now. And this training really helps these students in just 14 weeks get ready to take on those jobs after they finish this program. So joining us now is the instructor to talk a little bit. This program has only been in the works for a couple of weeks, but it already feels like it's, you know, fully established. Talk about how you guys all got started. Well, you know, we was looking at we understood that the industry was in dire need mm -hmm. and you know perry hughes the workforce director he approached me he said what do you think about a program to get men to work ladies to work and it was not and not everybody's built for college right and but we want them to be able to make a good living a good career and i spent 13 years as a line crew supervisor mm -hmm. and with a desire to to train guys in this field and so this is how it came about and you know a few grants uh, and we think uh, we just thank the Lord really for for how he's put this all together right. uh, AEP has been a huge help to us getting this uh, program off uh, uh, Buckingham mm -hmm. uh, some of the reps that they supply our tools they have been outstanding on helping us and we're, we're just looking forward to what's in the future for us and just being able to have these uh, students come out with uh, job ready right. with the knowledge of the basic knowledge of line work is just outstanding. Absolutely, and speaking of those students, we actually wanna check in with one of the students in the program right now, Gavin. So you were telling me just a few minutes ago, for the past few years, you've been working several jobs at once, but now that this is, you're in this program, you're hoping to get out of here with a job and that be your solo job, your main source of income, right? Absolutely, um, I've been working two to three jobs for about four years or so, um, and you know, just barely making ends meet and uh, heard about this through the career fair here at uh, WCC and decided to, uh, you know, pursue it because it could mean a, a, a 
potential increase in, in money, you know. Right. So. Yeah. And so talk about, I mean, what has the class been like so far? You guys are only about three weeks in. Was it what you expected? Is it harder than you expected? Uh, I, I already have quite a bit of uh, climbing experience. So it was, uh, I expected it to be as hard as it is. Um, but uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's fantastic. There, I've learned so much in three weeks already. It's absolutely incredible. That's awesome. Thank you so much and good luck to you. And the next round of classes will pick up here in September. So if you are interested, get in touch with Withville Community College. Live in with County, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10.